Alrighty, good day everyone. So I'll try and make this short and sweet. My thoughts on newbies wanting to get into road racing, uh, into that higher level, that um, more advanced cyclist. So moving from um, a weekend warrior to a uh, higher end cyclist, a racer. Now you can do it a number of different ways. You do it the way I've done it, where you're out with your mates and you slowly, obviously, increase your um, training to build your power, your efficiency, all that sort of stuff. You can do it with, in a club as well. Uh, you can go and join a club. There's heaps of clubs out there you go and get into. Um, you can do different sorts of races where you do crit races. They're generally shorter races and they're in uh, closed off areas. So some of them around where I am, they're in um, uh, different parks and things where there's a cycling track or some of them are held in industrial estates where it's all closed off at the weekends and they have races. To do that, you're going to need a license and you also need some insurance. Um, the sort of stuff I do are what they would class as open races. So anyone can go into it. You don't need a license. Um, they're just events that are organised, they're professionally organised events. And you basically just sign up for them online. Just sign up for them online and um, go and put yourself in for the category you think you're capable of riding at. Now the one, for instance, I went in in May um, this year was there were four categories. So you got the faster guys that start off, um, that was averaging 34 k's an hour group. Then you got a 32, a 30, and a 28. So you just pick whichever one you want. And there's no rule on it. You don't have to supply any information to say that you can ride at that sort of speed. You just pick the one you want, and you go and sign up and turn up on the day, and off you go and ride. Um, they're great fun. They're a good laugh, those sorts of rides. Um, they're not actually classed as races, although the front runners, the group I was in, the 34s, they are racing, trust me. You're racing all the way. Um, so that's the sort of stuff I do. Um, and it's good fun. Uh, you don't need a license. Um, I've still got insurance, so I've got my own bike insurance and my own personal insurance. Now, the level of fitness. So this is the biggest thing and the hardest thing to achieve. Now, moving from a weekend warrior to that top end sort of cyclist, it's hard. And I know it's hard. I've done it. Okay. I've done it and I'm maintaining it right now. Um, that is the biggest thing. And the reason why it's the hardest thing to do is, is simply because you've got to find the time to do the training. And you have to do a lot of training. If you want to keep up with the front runners, if you want to keep up with the fast guys. I mean, some of these people you see out on these on your weekend rides that are hooning along if you want to be able to do that and you want to be able to keep that sort of pace you have to do some training you've got to do training in, in all aspects of cycling from sprinting hill climbing pace making the whole kit and caboodle so that is the biggest thing is finding the time but anyone can do it at any level you can start at any level for definite you can get in there and do it um, so that side of it's done and then you've got the bike definitely a good quality bike is going to help you when you've got your fitness level where you're at that higher end that's when a good quality carbon bike comes into its own without a doubt good set of wheels the whole lot that's when it comes into its own for definite so a good quality bike definitely helps along the way um, and that's pretty much it that is pretty much um, it in a nutshell how you get into road racing you just go out there and give it a go and enjoy it the main thing is you're enjoying it if you think you're gonna look like a bit of a tool because you rock up on your new gear and you got a nice flashy bike and then you get dropped on the first hill or something no you're not don't worry about that everybody gets dropped at some stage everyone has to start somewhere I got dropped when I first got into cycling it's just how it is just how it is you can't expect to keep up with seasoned riders and racers when you're just getting into cycling so don't even think about that don't give a stuff about it that means nothing just get out there and enjoy it and that is my best advice you can have is get out there and enjoy it and it makes it good fun and it makes the training well and truly worthwhile so there you go that's what i reckon anyway you got any questions or comments you can post them down below